Okay, so we've now got the measurement from the last video. There it is. Um, of what the camera to the plane is. So we're now we're going to do something with it. So first thing we want to do is select the camera. Brilliant. So there's the camera. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look through it. So I'm going to click on panels. And in my case, it's now changed its name to camera shape two. So I click on that and I can now see through the camera. What I want to do first of all is just render a frame out so that I've got a bit of a sort of frame of reference. And as you can see, what I've got in the background so far looks pretty crummy, um, which upsets me a great deal. So what I need to do is set about putting that right. Now, there are a few reasons for this. Um, one of the reasons is that I've got shadows on that light that I added, which I'll turn off in a minute. But um, what I want to get going first is this blur effect. So as you can see, everything's in sharp focus. So I'll just hide the render view for a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my attribute editor, remembering that I've still got my camera selected. And if you scroll down, you'll see a depth of field section needs to be opened. There it is. And then you can just put a tick in that box to turn depth of field on. Now at this stage, if you were to render it without telling it what the, the focus distance is, it would all go blurry. So we'll just give that a sec. There you go. It's like trying to look at a plane, but you're a little bit drunk. So we need to get that under control. So in my focus distance, I'm going to input this number. So 30.341, I think will be enough detail for that. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is render again. And you'll see that the plane pretty much stays in focus, but the background is now in much softer focus. So that's much, much better. The only thing is, most of the plane's in focus, but this kind of tail section is a little bit out of focus. Now, if that's the effect that you're going for, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but I want to get more of the plane in focus. So to do that, I'm just going to turn my focus region scale up to about three. So it means within that distance of 30, it's going to focus basically from um, 27 to 33, uh, which will be much nicer. So I'll render again. Give it a sec. And now the plane's in focus. The background, whilst it's not as out of focus as it was, is still out of focus, which is lovely. What I want to do now is just get the background a little more out of focus. So I'm going to turn my f-stop down. I'll go to about four on that. Render again. Drop it a bit further. Let's go for three. A lot of this is trial and error. You have to just keep going with it until you're happy. And I'm quite happy with that. My background's nice and out of focus. My plane is in focus, uh, so I've got a real nice feeling of depth of field. So this camera angle is now looking um, really, really nice. If I wanted to try and get a really cool image, if I tried to get one where the glow of the sun was in the background and render that, um, I should get something that looks quite pretty, hopefully. Yeah, so that's quite nice. So the only major problem with this now is... Um, well, that I'm having, you might not be having this issue, is the fact that the light I'm using has got shadows turned on. So I'm just going to put that right. So I'm going to go to Window, Outliner. I'm going to click on my point light that I created earlier. And then I'm looking for the shadow section. And I just need to turn these shadows off. Render again just to get a, a better feel of what I should be looking at. There you go. So that's quite a nice shot. I'm, I'm fairly happy with how this is coming together. Okay, so at this stage, I'm pretty happy. What I'm going to do next uh, in the next video is we will have a look at how we set this up for um, a nice render, and then we'll get it batch rendering. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video for that.